We are going to look at tennis trading today and specifically we're going to look at lay the server strategy. The specific lay the server strategy is a very common strategy for trading tennis on Betfair and it is one that is used by many tennis trading professionals. You could even argue that this is the main strategy when it comes to trading tennis on Betfair. So coming up, I am going to show you the lay the server method step by step i'm going to show you a pretty basic version of it anyway i'm going to show you when to use it because that is the key to this strategy it is when to use it it's not something you're just going to use blindly of course there are key times to use it and that is the key <laughs> to this method and of course i'm going to show you some real life demonstrations so you can see exactly how you can profit using the lay the server strategy let's not hang around let's get into it So recently we covered the back the server strategy and if you missed that video go check that out but whilst back the server is a pretty easy strategy to use the losing trades can kind of wipe out the profits from the winning trades and the risk reward ratio is really not that great uh, when you're using back the server but with lay the server it's well it's the opposite of that it is pretty low risk but high reward and it is a strategy that the tennis trading professionals use very very frequently so the main time you're probably going to use the later server strategy is it's probably going to be on women's matches i mean the odds are more in your favor uh, when you want to use this on women's matches as we've covered in a previous video women win 62 percent of their service game so i mean if you just wanted to do this blindly you can kind of expect to win at this strategy 38% of the time, of course, we're never going to do anything blindly. You're going to pick your best opportunities, but it's already in your favor compared to men who on average win 80% of your service game. So if you're using later server on a men's game, you can kind of only expect a 20% win rate in, in that case. But um, with that in mind, I, I should say that the best value opportunities are going to be found in men's matches. Now, you have to keep in mind that the, the market's they know that women do not uh, serve well, generally. So they're only going to win 62% of the time. So the markets know this, and they've already factored it into the prices. It's already factored into the market movements. But with men, it's obviously a lot, a lot different. And the markets are generally expecting the men to hold their serve. So when the opposite happens and a man does lose his serve you're going to ex expect a much bigger swing in the odds so if you can spot those opportunities where you could lay the server in a men's match those are probably the best value opportunities you're probably going to get the biggest possible price swing that way and as with any sort of trade that you're going to do in any sport you do need a good reason to enter the market, something like the lay the server strategy is never going to work if you just do this blindly. If you just lay the server here, lay the server there, hoping for the break point, it, it doesn't work like that. But really what it is all about is picking up clues during the match, watching the match, reading the match, reading the body language, looking for good situations uh, to enter with the strategy. And I'm going to get into that a little bit more specifically in a moment. But it's time to actually look at the later server strategy step by step. I'm going to show you a very, very basic version of this strategy. There are obviously different variations of later server, but I'm going to show you pretty much the most basic version and then we can go from there. But also while you are here, do not do not forget at all uh, the odds prediction formula. This is a free cheat sheet that you can download the link is in the description of this video right now so you could download that and this will show you where the odds will move to it's a quick and easy formula that you can use to predict where the odds are going to move to after a break point is scored after a set point is scored you can just download it keep it on your device you could print it out and use it when you're trading tennis it is very very handy so definitely make sure you download that before you leave but let's get into the later server strategy so as mentioned, I mean, you have to have reason to believe that a serving player is going to struggle to win their service game. That is the first thing you're looking for uh, before you use a strategy like this. So you've got a reason to believe the player that is about to serve is probably going to struggle to win their service game. That is uh, what you're looking for there. And then when you do that, I mean, I'm sure you've guessed it. Basically, we're going to lay the serving player before they serve the first ball. 
uh, of their of their game pretty simple and the basic aim is just to exit for a profit if they concede a break point we want the other player to win the game when that server is serving and then we're going to get a nice price swing um as you may know we've done a video already on what makes the 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 odds move in tennis so you could check that out if you want to see more examples of the big price swings that can happen but that's what we're looking for we're looking to lay the server break point is scored and then we get a nice price swing in our favor and you could also exit if the price goes to say 1540 or to love 40 because at that point the big price move has kind of already happened so waiting for the break point to be scored is, is, isn't a port isn't as important you could uh, cash out for a pretty good profit just at 1540 or love 40 so with this strategy we don't necessarily need the server to concede a break point we just want them as mentioned to kind of struggle on serve that is one of the big things there and of course if the server concedes a break point then we're going to expect a big move in our favor but this is the beauty of the strategy is that if the server wins their service game then the move against us is not going to be too damaging because remember the markets are expecting the server to win the service game so the, mo the movement in, in that aspect is not going to be too big it's not going to be too big it's going to be a lot of smaller movement in the men's matches because the markets are really really expecting the men to win their service game in the women's matches it will be a bit of a bigger movement against you um <laughs> but then you can expect a higher win, win rate so it's, it's all swings and roundabouts in that aspect and to be honest you have to get in the market and start experiencing it for yourself to really get an idea of the expected uh, win versus loss or the expected risk versus reward when you're using lay the server but now I want to get into what I feel is the secret to doing well at this method a lot of newbies hear about lay the server and they just think okay well yeah I'm just gonna lay the server I might lay the serving player now then I'm gonna lay the other player when they're serving and just keep doing that and eventually get the you know the break point and yeah I'm gonna win it doesn't quite work like that as said, you need to pick and choose the best opportunities. So the best time to use lay the server is when a server is under pressure to win their service game. Now you could argue every service game, they're gonna be under pressure to win it, right? But honestly, uh, you need to look for times when the, a player is serving to maybe win the set, a player is serving to stay in the set as well, to stay alive in the set. A player is serving to win the match. And then on the flip side, a player is serving to stay alive in the match. Another, another, another good option could be when a player has just scored a break point. So now they, win, now they need to win their service game to secure that break point. And obviously after working so hard to score a break point, they, they might feel a little bit of extra pressure when they suddenly go to serve and they have to uh, hold their serve to really secure the lead. And, you know, I feel like with later server, there's not really any particular stats that you can look for pre-game or in play because, uh, yeah, it really is just about reading the match and waiting for these situations and sometimes looking at the body language of a player uh, when they're just about to serve. Do they seem like they're a little bit more tense than they were in the previous game when they served you know you have to take all that into account and another big clue as well let's throw this one in as well is that if you see a player not serve very well in their previous game then it could be a good opportunity to lay that player in their next service game i mean if a player it serves once doesn't look very good when they're serving drops loads of points almost gives away a break point then that's a pretty big clue that it's probably worth laying them when they serve again in the next game uh, if they manage to win that previous game obviously so that keep, keep all of that in mind keep all of that in mind that is the best time to use it you do have to be selective and honestly the best the best opportunities are found by watching the tennis match live and sometimes you'll just see it sometimes eventually you will feel it. You'll feel when there is the pressure on the server and you'll know when it's a good time to lay them. But let's look at some live trading examples of the lay the server strategy. I'm going to show you exactly how you do profit using this method. So we're going to get involved with lay the server here. Putin Sever is about to serve to try and win the first set, but she is an underdog. Madison Keys is a 1.30 favorite in this. So we've laid Putin Sever around uh, 2.16. As you can see, she's serving. She's just dropped a point. 
But this is a great time to do lay the server. She was looking good. She scored the first break point. But she's looked a little bit nervous since she's had that break point. So there could be a good opportunity here. So good start. First point goes to Madison Keys. Let's see what happens next. And Madison Keys has just broken back, which is great. And you see this scenario quite a lot. So, I mean, we could just cash out. You saw the move there was 2.16. We laid Putin server there and her price has risen to 3.6. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely a great time to get in when the underdog is serving to try and secure the set. That is when nerves can kick in and it's a very, very good time to lay the server. And you can get a pretty big move, pretty big price move there, as you can see. So ignoring the scoreboard, the score is actually 3-2. Uh, oh, it's actually just appeared. Okay, so anyway, it's 3-2. Currently, Begu is just about to serve. And um, it, it's, it's got interest. I mean, Begu is a break point ahead. Uh, and then we saw in her last service game, she didn't really look too great. So maybe the pressure is getting to her. So it's probably a good time to enter the later server strategy as she has to serve. And Zhang is putting her under a bit of pressure. So we just laid her here at 1.58. And now we're going to see... What happens? We're going to see how this game plays out. And there, as you can see, uh, it's just gone to 1540. So we can cash that out. Uh, Beggy was under a fair bit of pressure in that one. So you can just cash out. And especially when the odds are pretty close to evens on the two players, you can cash out. So uh, as we spoke about, you don't necessarily need uh, the other player to score the break point. Sometimes a pretty big move happens when it uh, just goes to 1540 or love 40 as mentioned and you can kind of see the move there you know that's where we got in the market and it's drifted up drifted up drifted up and it's just a quick good quick example of how later server can work and now it doesn't even matter whether um <laughs> whether Zhang goes on to win the win this game it's now gone to is that 30 40 so they could bring it back to juice doesn't really matter we've locked in the profit and just a quick example of what can happen later server and just to show you that in the end Begu did actually win the game. <laughs> she actually did win the game after a pretty lengthy game. But remember, we still made a profit from that. We still profited from uh, the fact that she was under pressure in her service game. We got enough of a price rise in there. And yeah, we still made a profit, but Begu still won the game. So if anything, we could repeat that same trade on Begu again when she serves the next time as well. It's this just uh, part and parcel of tennis trading. So we're just entering later server on Ashley Barty, trying to get the stream up for you guys as well. Um, she's just about to serve. She's just about to serve to try and win the set. Uh, she's two games ahead, but it is against Serena Williams. So we're going to give this a go. We think that maybe, <laughs> maybe she might wobble. It is uh, always a big ask to win a set against Serena Williams. But uh, let's see. Let's see how this one plays out. She's just gone 15 love ahead. The stream is stopping and starting, but we'll try and see if we can make something from this. Yeah, and in the end, it was a pretty uh, pretty feeble game from Serena Williams. Didn't really put Barty under much pressure. So we're going to get out of this one for a loss. Uh, we got in, what is it, 1.38 or 1.39 on the lay. And we're going to try and back this. I think hopefully we get matched to 1.29. Uh, 1.3. So uh, it was a... A, a nine tick loss uh, there you have it so i mean we could leave this as an 18 pound loss on barty that is one thing you can do just in case serena williams does come back later on in the match or you could equalize a smaller loss over both but over, over both outcomes uh let me just show you how to do that just click on that to cash out but it's just a quick example just to show you that when you do lay the server in certain situations remember the markets are expecting the server to win their game so when it doesn't quite go your way as it didn't really go there then the loss or the move against you is not too big it was a nine tick move against us but let me just show you the i mean where the price could have gone if i can bring up this chart here uh but uh it, it, it could have been a pretty i mean you saw look there's the move downwards on barty and if Serena Williams could have got a break point back and then maybe leveled it and it being Serena Williams, we could have got a pretty huge swing. It could have been around 50 tick gain. But in the end, it was a nine tick loss. But it's just a quick example just to show you um, how later server works and what can happen when it does go wrong. You are looking at not a huge loss. And usually when you win, the win is going to be bigger than the loss. So now you've seen all the live trading examples, you've got a lot of a better idea of how you would use this strategy. I've obviously given you some hints 
on the best times to use it and you can see how just how effective it is as i mentioned at the top of the video this is one of the main tennis trading strategies if you're going to be trading tennis a lot you're going to be using this a lot you're going to be picking the best moments to lay the server or just to oppose the server and that is going to be one of the main bread and butter points of tennis trading. So what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to leave a comment and let me know your experience with using later server. I want to know what you think as well. Is it something you think you will use often after watching this video? And hey, if you guys have got any ways, any hints of improving any strategies you see, I love to hear about it in the comments. It helps a lot of people. <laughs> and of course, I'll be there to try and reply as much as I can. But of course, as I mentioned in the middle of the video, don't forget about this. The link is in the description to grab this. This is the odds prediction formula. If you haven't downloaded that already, go download that. That is very, very useful. It's going to show you where you can expect the odds to move in a tennis trading match. And you just print it off. You just learn the formula. After a few games, you're going to know the formula off by heart anyway. So uh, definitely download that and check that out. As I said, it's totally free. Link is in the description. But uh, thanks for watching. If you did like this video and you want to see videos just like this, click on the S and become a subscriber to Sports Trading Live TV. We've got videos just like this released all the time that you can check out. And of course, there are plenty of previous videos for you to check out too. Lots of playlists and lots of Betfair trading strategies and goodness for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.